Lewis Hamilton says exposing a rival's weak spots is a key part of his tetlechlinging armory as he aims to make Sebastian Vettel's Singapore crash the final turning point in their title battle. Vettel lost his 100% finishing record in 2017 in the three-car start line accident while Hamilton collected a surprise victory, putting the Englishman 28 points clear of the Ferrari driver in the standings in a chat show interview in the days after the race. Hamilton said it was great to have seen some of the weaknesses come through this year from his four-time champion rival. Vettel shrugs off criticism and explains Crash asked about his comments on the opening day of the Malaysia GP weekend. Hamilton did not elaborate on Vettel specifically, but said we all have weak spots, and part of the process of fighting a competitor is always to try and find the exposed areas. If you are playing tennis and you know the servers, not so good with the backhand you then always send it that way. So it's about trying to identify that, and then try to target that. This week on the F1 Report, Mark Priestley is joined by former Manor boss Graham Lodon and recent Legrand British F3 champion Inam Ahmed to preview the Malaysia GP. For me, in just trying to do my job. In trying to be the most complete driver that I can be in all areas and hopefully not showing weaknesses. Hopefully that little difference makes the difference as opposed to potentially another driver that may not be fully complete. Although Vettel has not admitted fault for the accident which also wiped out Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen, and the stewards deemed it a racing incident, the Ferrari driver has nonetheless again found himself in the spotlight for the wrong reasons three months after he was widely condemned for driving into Hamilton in Baku. Hamilton is unsure how Vettel will have responded to the latest setback, but is anticipating a strong Ontario rec performance from his Ferrari rival at Sepang. Hess a four-time world champion, so it's difficult to really know how Hess going to react, said the Mercedes driver. Firstly, I don't know how he has taken it, the mistake in the last race, and I don't know how Hess reflected up it. But greats generally bounce that, so I have to anticipate this weekend hell bounce back being strong. I don't remember the last time seeing him falter being particularly under pressure, so I don't really know how Hess going to react. If he feels pressure, time will tell. Lewis Hamilton's engine fails with leading the Malaysia GP Hamilton returns to scene of last and while Vettel's 18 race points finishing streak ended in Singapore, Hamilton stretched his own personal run to 19 races with the Englishman now able to complete a full year's worth of race finishes at Sepang on Sunday. Malaysia was the scene of his last retirement, when his Mercedes engine blew up while he was leading the race a moment which proved decisive in Nika Rosberg, being crowned world champion. But reflecting on this setback a year on, Hamilton admitted his own errors during 2016 played as pivotal a role. Honestly, at the end of the season, rather than blame it on things like the reliability issue for sure, if that didn't happen we would have been in a different position, if I hadn't lost the positions I lost at the start of races it would have been the same, he said. Sebastian Vettel gives his views on events from the first lap crash in Singapore involving Kimi Raikkonen and Max Verstappen, so I would put it on my personal performance and I've improved on that. It definitely has been a very solid performance since then and one I'm continuing to work on. Hamilton has never completed a season without a race retirement in his 10-year F1 career and says Mercedes are taking nothing for granted with six rounds to go. When you arrive on weekends knowing reliability has been as good as it is it's a great feeling, but that also fears in the back of your mind anything can happen, he added. So you just have to be prepared for that and we are. Having spent most of the season playing catch-up to Vettel in the standings, Hamilton's 28-point advantage is the largest either driver has enjoyed all season. And, in a season which has already produced numerous turning points, Hamilton says he is trying to make sure that was the last one as he bids to close out a fourth world crown over the season's concluding two months. Will Sebastian Vettel and Ferrari bounce back from their Singapore nightmare watch the Malaysia GP weekend live on Sky Sports F1? The race begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday, October 1. If you are using SkySports.com you can comment below to get involved in the debate, but please adhere to our house rules. If you wish to report any comment, simply click on the down arrow next to the offending comment and click report.